Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan. We're in the middle of a major electrical project, but luckily we have some tools to help us out. The excavator is helping us so much. Both of us are loving the excavator, but one of us may love it a little more than the other. Boy, do I love it. I think I might need to get an excavator. And for this project, we decided to call in some reinforcements. Like, do you not know what you're doing? Because you're our only hope. <laughs> we'll make it work. Okay. Between obstacles in the trench for our electrical wire, where Ryan is hit some major rock, and obstacles gathering the supplies we need to pass inspection, then I went up to pay and my card got declined. And dealing with the huge wire, it was moving. Was it? Yeah. Oh, shoot. We work hard to get the job done. Oh my gosh, you guys, this trench is massive. And have some fun along the way. Follow along with us as we install our cabins electrical. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a moment of our cabin building adventure. All right, Ryan just got back with the excavator. He's got it all unloaded. So we are ready to get to work. I am pretty excited about this. I think Ryan is too, because an excavator is gonna help us get so much done so much more quickly. Before we can start, we've got to get the wire moved off the road. So Ryan is securing that right now. We'll get that moved out of the way and then we'll start figuring out what we want to do with the excavator first. I was always inclined to make history, but I never really had the time. Spent my life living dangerously, never worried how I'm back and by. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Doing what I'm good at. Just do All right, the excavator is helping us so much. We've gotten so far on pulling that wire out that's connected to our trailer. Ryan is just kind of scooping off the top and then I go behind and I dig and loosen everything up and then we just pull on the wire. Unfortunately, the excavator did hit a piece of the wire, so fingers crossed that we can tape the wire back up and turn it on and the breaker doesn't flip so we have electricity to our trailer. But we'll, we'll see. But there he is. Brian says he's loving the ex excavator. He said it makes him feel like a, like a superhero. <laughs> All right, we've been digging for about an hour now and I'm going down about 26, 27 inches down uh, so we can run the water on one side of the trench and electrical on the other side of the trench. And I've got a good, I don't know, probably 50, 75 feet done in about an hour. So I'm pretty happy with that progress. And this machine that I got from Home Depot uh, has three hours on it. So it is a brand new machine and boy, do I love it. I think I might need to get an excavator. So I have a friend coming. He should be here in about an hour. I'm going to try to get another like 25 feet done. And then we're going to take a little break and hang out with our friend. And we're going to hit it hard tomorrow and try to get the electrical completely in. Well, that's probably good. 
now I would now do your little curly thing again. Yep. Curl it in more. No, 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 no. Curl. That one. No, no, inward. There you go. A major rock so we're super happy that we made the choice to get an excavator now because a trencher would have been awful through all this rock. Cameron's here to help with the electrical. Woo! Okay, good morning. Um, we have a big trench already started that we started digging on the land. And our friend Cameron is up here. And they're going to be working to actually get the electrical wire hooked up to the panel back at our pump house. And then hook it up to the panel that's at our house. So then we figure we can still, Ryan and I can still dig the trench after Cameron is gone. But it's really nice to have somebody else that you can bounce ideas off of. And Cameron's done a few renovation projects with his parents. And it's just nice to have somebody who's done some of this stuff. So anyway, that's the plan for today. The guys will be working on that. I'm going to be doing some odd jobs here and there around the land, working on our burn pile that feels like we always have. It should be a pretty fun project to watch come together. I got to get the plan so the guys can figure out where the breaker box is going to go on our house. So we're not putting it somewhere where it's going to be right by a door or window. So I'm going to get those plans and then head down the road to them and then show you guys what's up. You're supposed to be down there talking about really electrical-y stuff. All right, are you excited about the project? Big cable. Are you excited? I'm nervous. <laughs> like, do you not know what you're doing? Because you're our only hope. <laughs> we'll make it work. Okay. We need you to go to the hardware store. Already? In Shelton. How am I going to get out? You can you're take my car. Take Cameron's oh, yeah. car okay. and then fill it up. Oh. All right, I think I shared a note with you. Oh, okay. That has our shopping list. Okay. And then your plan is to get this panel like connected to the other panel today and then we'll dig the trench. Really the goal today is to get the trench complete, the wire laid in, the pipe, the water line laid in, and the wire through the conduit. Sarah's off at the store picking up some conduit that we need to get the wire in the ground. We'll need that to get our uh, our trench inspection cleared. And my buddy Cameron is down on the excavator. Uh, he's finishing up the trench so we can put the wire and the water line in the trench. And I'm working on getting the panel worked up and get it mounted uh, to our temporary post so we can have proper electrical up here. Lots of things going on. And it's a beautiful day, a little hot out here to be getting work in, but it beats, uh, beats the rain. Okay. We're not finding everything we need here. I'm gonna go up and check at the um, counter. Maybe they have some stuff that's not on their shelf. But Ryan, I called him and he said that what I have right now can get the project to where we need it for the first inspection.
Okay, so they didn't have everything, so I'm gonna run to one more store and check for a few things, but we did get the piping in that we needed. I love when we cram it into a tiny car. <laughs> Okay, oh my God, you guys. So I've called Ryan, I feel like 80,000 times to make sure I'm getting all the right stuff. We still don't have everything that was originally on the list, but we have enough to get ourselves to the first inspection. And then I went up to pay and my card got declined because everybody thinks it's credit card fraud because we make big purchases and they're out of state for us. But got that all fixed, got paid, and we're all ready to go, I hope. Hi, Ernie. <laughs> Hi. Did you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. I am back and brought some coffees for everybody. And the guys are back here. Their plan is to finish digging the trench up to where Ryan and I got, but we got stuck on some major rock. So we're gonna at least get to there today and then start laying the wire and start trying to kind of get the pieces all hooked up to the both breaker boxes. But right now they hit like a major root. So uh, Ryan actually had to pull out the chainsaws. But that was dirt. fun when you hit it with the excavator. It oh. like take you a while to figure well, out what it was. The excavator lifts up rather than my, me lifting dirt up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, um, this isn't right. You're like a professional, Cameron. Yeah. We're gonna hire you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this trench is massive. And then it goes off two ways over here. We're gonna go off this way and that goes to our water. And then the one that's going here is going to our panel. And then it's gotta go all the way up, <laughs> all the way up the road. And it's like, whoa, it's a lot of dirt to do this trench. I thought you, I thought you were no. stopping sooner. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I should have. He went a little. I want a little results. Can we just fill some back yeah. in? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna make myself some Okay, we're unspooling all the wire that we have, and it's really heavy duty wire, really heavy. And we need enough slack for it to go up into that box. And Cameron and I are both standing on it, and it's still just moving as Ryan is pulling on it with the tractor. So we don't have enough slack. So we're having to spool it back up now, and we're gonna have to figure out how to attach it. Because if it's all laid flat all the way to the house, it's gonna be way too heavy for us to just 
pull on it. So what we decided to do is we're gonna go get the excavator and bring it down and we're actually gonna suspend the spool of wire up higher. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that system worked a lot better once we got it figured out. So we are going to get it through the conduit that has to that it has to be through to pass inspection and then start actually unspooling it right into the trench. Are you serious about lube? Yeah, I'm We didn't need we didn't need the lube. <laughs> we're right, We're that good. Through. Remove tube from conduit and begin wire pull. So did we start too early? Well, I did, yeah, you started too early. Because we started without started the lube. Without, started without the lube. <laughs> Get the booty shake. there would be perfect because then we can go right up into the junction box. We have the wire down in the trench now. We don't have the trench all the way dug yet because Ryan and I were doing it yesterday and we hit a ton of rock. So we knew we wanted Cameron's help with the laying the wire process and it's really good we had him here because he drove the excavator, I stood in the trench and kind of pulled the wire back and Ryan was unspooling it from the spool. So it all worked out really well. So now it's all in there, let me show you. Cameron just headed out and we're relaxing for a second. I don't know if we're gonna work a little bit more tonight. Nothing with the big wire tonight, we're spent. Yeah, it, we got a ton done and we're so glad that Cameron was able to come up and help us. Lifesaver. Yeah, because it's just so nice having like one extra person so I could run to the store and it didn't halt the whole project. Like people were still working back at home yeah. and just it was great. So thank you so much, Cameron. And now tomorrow we're going to be working on finishing up the trench and getting the wire all the way laid into the trench so we can get the first inspection done. Is that it? Is it that is. Get it all? Yep. All Excited. right. We'll see you tomorrow.